going on guys? Today we're going to be making some upgrades to my custom trailer. Alright guys, so in case you missed it, this is my trailer that I built uh, about six months ago. If you want to see the full build, I'll link it down in the description. Uh, so I actually built this on top of an old uh, Wave Runner trailer. So you can see under there, that's the base of it. But then I built a uh, full frame out of steel square tubing. And then I have pressure treated plywood on top. It has served me pretty well. I mostly use it for firewood and also for uh, transporting my ATV around. And uh, it's plenty big for that. I could actually probably fit two on there. But now it is time to make some upgrades. And these are things that I was planning on doing from the start, uh, but I just didn't really get to it when I built the whole trailer. So first off, I'm gonna be adding mesh to the ramp instead of this wood. And I kind of knew going in that that was gonna be like a big sail and create a lot of drag when I'm pulling it. And that does happen, especially when I'm going faster. It's fine for going you know, just around here to the lumber yard and back. Uh, but if I'm going far distances, it's kind of a pain because I can't go much over like 55 pulling it with the Jeep here. So if I can now make that mesh, it'll let the air pass through and it'll just haul a lot better. And here is the steel mesh I'll be using. So I picked this up at a metal yard. This was the thicker gauge of the two that they had, and it should be uh, plenty thick for what I need. I also have a lot of supports on my ramp. And I think this sheet, it's four by eight, a little over $100 for that. So not too bad, I just had to get there. I actually put it on top of the Jeep to bring it home. So the basic plan will be obviously taking off this uh, treated plywood. And those are just uh, carriage bolts and nuts on the back. So I'll take that off and then I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna be welding the mesh onto this steel. I'll probably just do some welds every foot or so on these cross pieces. So I will have to grind off the paint, of course, so that I can weld. I'll probably just use the MIG welder for this. And once I get the mesh on there, I will have to paint it since it is just a uh, raw steel so that it doesn't uh, rust. And then the next thing I'm gonna be doing to the trailer is painting all of the rest of the wood which would be the actual uh, floor here and then the sides. And the reason I didn't do that to start was you have to kind of wait uh, usually like three to six months for uh, treated wood before you paint or stain it. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go with a normal paint so I can put it on pretty thick and that should last a pretty long time and protect the wood.
All right guys, so here it is, the finished product. It uh, went pretty well. The mesh went on nicely. I did have to do some creative cutting uh, so that I could get all the mesh I needed out of just that four by eight sheet. Since this is like six feet wide, I think by 58 inches long. So on this side, till that double support, that's all one continuous piece. And then up here is one piece, but then down here, I ended up with two separate pieces here and here. And then I actually welded it to the other piece. And that way, if you're going up with a, uh, you know, a tire, you don't sink down and then potentially puncture with the other one. So they're all welded together. And then I did grind all of the sharp edges flat on the uh, flip side. But it's really not even noticeable like at all that there is multiple pieces there since they are all running the same direction. And I did end up welding every foot on each support. Uh, you can't really see it now, but that welded fine. Uh, with the MIG. And then I did paint the gate first. It took a lot of paint. Uh, may have been better just to roll it on, but I used spray and of course, most of the spray misses because it just goes straight through. So I think I used uh, like three full cans on just the back gate. And then I moved on to painting the rest of the trailer. So I used this uh, porch and floor paint. This is actually the same exact paint, same color as the loft and the ramp over there. So you can see they, they kind of match now. And I mostly did that because I had some left over. So I just got one more gallon. Uh, so this whole thing actually took a little under a gallon. And I did two coats on everything, made sure I went pretty thick on the floor since that's gonna see most of the abuse. And I did try to uh, tape off all the black. You know, I know it is just a trailer, but I still wanted it to look nice since I did build it. Uh, so I taped off all the black so I didn't get uh, too much paint on that. So the frame stays black and the rest is the gray. And then the last thing I did was mount my spare tire right here. I actually already had that little uh, bracket. So it's just like a U-bolt and just had to drill two holes so that I could mount that right there because before it was just sitting on the inside and then just rolls around. So now it can be mounted there all the time. So there it is, the upgraded trailer. Pretty happy with how it came out and looking forward to hauling with the upgraded gate so it doesn't have uh, nearly as much drag. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you next time.